Welcome back to Football by Dummies, your place for all things football. And in today's episode, we are going to be talking about someone, a sporting icon in India who recently hung up his boots. It's the man, the myth, the legend, Sunil Chetri. And actually, guys, everybody has heard of the name Sunil Chetri. Every Indian football fan is well aware of who this footballer or who this legend is. But do you guys know who the man Sunil Chetri is? I mean, not many of us do. Well, I, think, I think today's going to be the lucky day, is it not? Yeah, right? today's going to be the lucky day because I consider myself something of a Sunil Chetri expert. <laughs> that's right, that's right. And, and just before we start and before I hand over things to Advait, if you're new to this channel, then I'm Hamza. This is my friend Advait on the side. And friend we have a enemy. co-conspirator. We have a co-conspirator, <laughs> another United fan on this channel. Yashas, he is not here with us today, but he will join us again. Yes, and before we move on, Guys, please, if you like this kind of content and if this is what you have come here for, if you stumbled upon our video, please consider subscribing. Or else, okay. <laughs> or else, okay. so we need to start threatening people, man. But yeah, do, do like, subscribe and share our content. And I think this video will be pretty informative because I didn't know a lot of this content before I actually, I didn't know a lot of this information before I prepared for this. So it was quite eye opening for me. But yeah, Hamza, let's go. Let's go. So Adwait. Yeah, you're here with a story to tell, aren't you? Yeah, so I mean, we always want to know the kind of steps, but we like hearing the origin stories of our superheroes. Okay, so Sunil Chetri is no different. He was born in Sikandarabad, and his dad was in the army, so he shifted a lot. So he's one of those army brats who's been all around India, but he finally settled in on Delhi. Okay, so I mean, for all you Delhi fans out there, and any just general Delhiite, I mean, that must make you. Bro, happy. I'm sure 99 percent of the people watching this wouldn't have known that he was born in Sikandarabad. Yeah. I didn't either. <laughs> but no, I mean, you know, for me, I didn't even know Sikandarabad was in AP. Okay, <laughs> sorry, it's in Telangana. It's in Tel. I'm so yeah. Now confused, it's man. in Telangana. I, it's, I'm it's so next confused. to Hyderabad. But yeah, so he was born in Sikandarabad, and his mother was actually Na- Nepalese in origin. And she actually was part of the national team. She was a national team, national level footballer. So it's not like he just, he has like some strong football genes in his family. And his father himself was quite fit. His father was, as I said before, part of the army. So there are four p- figures who played a crucial role in Sunil Chetri's origin story, Hamza. So the first one, like I mentioned, is his mother himself. And mm-hmm. Sunil Chetri himself has said it that until he was 13, he couldn't beat her one on one, man. Like that, that, that is, that is, inc- like, she must have been a tank. She must have been an absolute tank, man. Like, can you imagine you, you coming back from school and getting your ass whooped by your mother, not only physically, but at football? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Do you know that, 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 that honestly? <laughs> Bro, it's it's almost as if you get your ass whooped because you can't beat your mother. <laughs> you can't beat your mother, you get killed. You yeah. beat your mother, she's pissed. Like yeah. you, you, you can't win in that situation. So the thing about Sunil Chetri was that, like I said, humble beginnings. And then he started making waves around when he was in class 11, in 11th standard when he was based in Delhi. And through the recommendations of one of his friends, he actually got a, a kind of trial at uh, Hindustan United, which was like a regional club in Delhi. And they used to play a lot of regional tournaments and they could mm-hmm. see that this guy was, he was something. Like he had talent, the raw talent was there, like a diamond in the rough type. Because of those middle class values, he used to try and get as much life as possible out of that one pair of boots. We've all been there and done that, man. That one pair of boots, which has your toes sticking out on, this, on the end. And then that leather football, which doesn't look like a football anymore. He was one of those kids, okay. So uh, the Milo Cup was this cup that was held yearly. And back in the day, they had a prize of 1,500 rupees for the winner of the Milo Cup. Mm-hmm. And uh, Sunil Chetri took part in the Milo Cup three years, Hamza. Okay. Can you guess how many times he won? Once, I guess. No, oh, bad guess, man. Three. The answer is three. He won <laughs> oh, all wow. three times. Okay, He won all. And he's a serial winner, man. He's been a serial winner since he was young. He won three out of three Milo Cups. But Sunil Chetri being the man that he is... Spent 750 buying a lower mid range studs and spent 750 buying shoes for his father every year and sent it back. And that just shows you the man that he is from a young age. This guy is a team player. He knows he has to look after his family. He knows he has to compete. He's just around like it just from like the get go. This man is a proper person. Like you, that's the vibe that you get when you read and when you watch about him. So that was how many, character how, number one. How, how many more times will this guy win a heart? And also just one know, thing man. on the Milo Cup. 
uh, whoever grew up in early 2000s in India yeah. would be familiar with Horlicks Whiz Kids and your know, Bond <laughs> oh, Vita sh- quizzes. Is, oh, is, it, shit, is it something man. like that? Like, like, I mean, it, it must have been like that, but I, I completely forgot about <laughs> Horlicks Whiz Kids. My God, like I actually knew a Horlicks Whiz Kid. The guy, I mean, the, that guy proved to me that when they say all God, God gives us all the same brains, it's all BS, man. There's some was people. He, was he Sunil Chetri? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you never know. You never know. But yeah, so Sunil Chetri, he actually impressed a lot in his Hindustan uh, United stint. And it was after that when he got his first major break and it didn't can't get any bigger than the break that he got. He got noticed by Mohan Bagan. And he got signed by Mohan Bagan, which is which is a big anomaly because in India, you unless you have had some under nineteen or under sixteen experience, it's very difficult for you to get noticed and go straight to Mohan Bagan. You're saying Sunil Chetri never played for the Indian national team at the youth levels, is it? No, he 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 never got. Oh wow! Uh, like it's it's insane. Like I mean, his rise was pretty meteoric. Like I mean, he impressed at a like a semi pro club, and then next thing you know, he's got the attention of the big wigs at Mohan Bagan, and they signed him. So like it's wow. it's it's amazing. And the thing about him is he was signed. He was noticed by this guy called Subrata Bhattacharya, mm-hmm. uh, a Bengali man, a Bengali coach, very famous. And I'll get back to him in a bit. Okay, I have a little bit of an interesting story to tell you guys about Subrata Bhattacharya and uh, Sunil Chetri. But in his first year, he didn't play a single minute. He was rooted to the bench. Okay, and Hamza, what do we do when we are rooted to the bench in any sport, man? Hamza, what were you doing when? But you were you rooted to the bench at any point in your in your football playing I days? I was, I was, I was. I used to <laughs> sulk, man. I used to wonder why am I not being given the chance. But did you do anything else with your time? Were you productive? No. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm here to tell you Sunil Chetri is just like us in many ways one he really wants to look after his family he's a family man and when he was stuck on the bench he did two things he worked harder and he went out like he t- he went out and tried to meet women in in his local <laughs> in city okay so the story is that um Subrata Bhatt- Bhattacharya um he has a daughter okay and she used to come for practice every day and watch the players go through their drills and i think she had a crush on him at that time the phones were very simple and i don't think she had a phone so she just went through her dad's phone search for sunil's contact and called him and said that i'm going to give you a number of someone who wants to talk to you her name is mem she's very interested in you okay and sunil's like being a guy he's just being a guy <laughs> sitting on the bench what more do you have to do and he's like fine say no more <laughs> Yes. I'll do the rest again. Okay? He messaged Mame for the next three months, okay, and they built a really good rapport. And then they meet, and then they hit it off, and it's amazing. Then he realizes Mame is the dark nam of Subrata Bhattacharya's daughter. It's the same person, okay, and now he's married to her. <laughs> This guy, you know, oh, man. It, it, it's honestly amazing, man. It's amazing. Like, Dude, this he is... is literally one of us. You oh. have done things like this. <laughs> no, 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 guys, guys, guys. This is a joke. He's joking. Adar is joking. Yeah. We were referring to David Moyes and Wilfred Zaha. Isn't it? Isn't it the same situation? This. It didn't work out for anyone. Like, I mean, this is a beautiful story, man. Don't bring those negative vibes in here. Okay, this is a beautiful story Oops. of a man. Who, when you get hit by life, you no, know, you hit life back hard and two times. Okay, <laughs> you not only get better at football, you also find the love of your life, who is your coach's daughter. <laughs> it, it was, I mean, kudos to Sunil Chetri, man, winning off pitch, on the pitch, anywhere, man. <laughs> a true winner, like I told you. If you've not got the impression by now, this man was a serial winner, Milo Cup, coach's daughter, <laughs> one and all. <laughs> so yeah, so the, um, he didn't get a chance to play in his first year, like I mentioned. Mm-hmm. and uh, second year came and he started getting a few minutes here and there scored a few goals and that was between 2002 to 2005 and one and second just just before you move on i just yeah. wanted to confirm the second most important person uh, from your four in yeah. this guy's life was mem was it No, it was Subrata Bhattacharya. <laughs> oh, for giving birth to Mame. No, 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 for having his number saved on his phone. No, so Mame, so Mame could go have a chat with Sunil. So yeah, so the second most important person, not his wife, it's Subrata Bhattacharya. Okay, so yeah, that's how he met his wife, and his wife is very knowledgeable about football. By the way, she's always giving him constructive criticism. Like, I mean, it must be so amazing, man, to come back home and your wife, like. Has all the, the entire game plan? She's already seen uh, the film study and all that. She's already done everything. I mean, I mean it's just perfect match made in heaven, man. But really? yeah, so the second most important person after his mother, in like in shaping his career early on was Subrata Bhattacharya. Two thousand five onwards, he got his an offer 
from a team based in Hoshiarpur and uh, it was called JCT and JCT were coached by this man called Mr Sukhvinder Singh and they um, affectionately call him Suki sir third person is Mr Suki so Mr Sukhvinder Singh is someone who believes in strict physical requirements to be part of a starting 11 you cannot be slacking you have to put in the hours and on the training ground and his criticism when sunil chetri came in was that you're not strong enough you're just you're getting bullied off the ball you need to learn how to use your body you need to learn how to leverage it's not just about shoulder barging it's about using leverage it's about being having the endurance to last a full match mm-hmm. and sunil chetri credits him for like bringing in the physical aspect into his like the overall player improved because of sukhvinder singh yeah and it didn't take him long he had a few months with mr sukhvinder singh next thing you know he gets a call up for india and can you guess can you guess who he made his debut against bangladesh or kuwait or someone like that i mean I'm close you're pretty close but he got his debut against pakistan and <laughs> at, at time of recording debut, by the man. way guys at time of recording india are playing pakistan in the world cup and we're getting our asses handed to us <laughs> so hopefully we Oops. win this match by that time but uh he made his debut against pakistan in 2005 and Sunil Chetri being Sunil Chetri obviously scored on his debut. It was a 1-1 draw and he immediately took to water like a duck. I don't know what does that mean. <laughs> 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 like a duck to water. He took he, he yeah. took to the water is. Well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so the thing about Sunil Chetri I mentioned this before he's a winner. He doesn't take no for an answer and he obviously scored in his debut against Pakistan. it ended in a 1-1 draw and from that point onwards his career really took off dude and imagine imagine to make your debut in such a heated heated game against yeah. two bitter rivals and yeah, not and being faced by it dude imagine, so the crazy imagine, thing was the crazy thing was he made his debut in pakistan so i don't know how to pronounce the place but it's keta or yeah, uh, yeah. q u e t a yeah so it's keta is where he made his debut in pakistan so it's in balochistan area and i assume the atmosphere would have been pretty hostile towards him i don't think it would have been very pleasant but of yeah course, I, man, that that really goes on to show the kind of mentality that this guy has been nurturing so, imagine so debut bro he's he's he was the og menu no so, <laughs> can we can we not bring in trash okay can, keep the trash out okay oh so, bro oh bro will <laughs> zah till you call zaha trash i'm okay okay don't go to menu <laughs> Okay no I also wanted to bring another point which I forgot to mention so him going to Pakistan and performing so well under pressure didn't happen in isolation he had experience in very tense matches before his one of his first few matches in Mohan Bagan was against East Bengal and he still talks about it till today that that's when he realized okay this is no joke this is freaking bonkers like i mean the vitriol that the fans were like th- fans were literally leave vitriol they were actually spitting at the players like he says that 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 kanpuria <laughs> spit was just flying down onto the away player tents and they were hiding inside and there were stones being thrown oh. sounds like an absolute battlefield okay so he is he is literally battle tested okay so i don't think the pakistan crowd and the hostility really impacted him much and from that moment on this guy's career took off man like and this brings me to the next person the next person has played a huge role and in 2008 he had his culminating moment and that ca- came under a coach called bob houghton and bob houghton is the fourth impactful coach in his journey would not be the first time an englishman has played a big role <laughs> in indian history <laughs> so bob houghton apparently in sunil chetri's own words taught him more about what not to do as a football player than what to do and i think uh, he credits him for ironing out a lot of the rough edges in his game and he was india's coach between 2005 to 2011 and he, he wasn't just any random coach he had experience coaching the chinese national team and i think as well as uzbekistan so he came and he taught india how to win and this culminated in 2008 under the leadership of baichung bhutia and bob houghton mm-hmm. and india beat tajikistan who came into the finals as favorites in the afc cup in 2008 where sunil chetri scored a hat trick and baichung bhutia scored a blinder of a goal okay and india won the afc cup and the result of that is that they finally qualified for the asian cup it was a big big deal at the time like it's the second a uh, tournament for asian teams yeah, under the world cup exactly it's like the it, euro it's like our euros yeah it, it's like our euros and india had not qualified for it in 26 years so it was a massive massive achievement man and it just shows you like i mean the sunil chetri basically took over it was the sunil chetri show 
from pretty much 2005 onwards scored a lot of goals basically reached the pinnacle of his career in early 2000s like before we're in 2024 and he's been doing it for so long that he probably has three different peaks three different primes to look at like very similar to ronaldo like i'm not saying at obviously at ronaldo's level but such longevity that he's had three different peaks absolutely man absolutely what a player he's the only indian player in the history of indian football to have scored a hat trick in a major final which is incredible and sunil chetri that's just one of his many 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 records <laughs> oh man crazy crazy bro yeah. what a what a player what a legend he's been for the sport and and he, genuinely pushing the sport to a higher levels where we've not seen the sport go uh, yeah. at least on a, a national team level and yeah, even on yeah. the grassroots level he's been promoting the sport really vehemently all yeah, over the country yeah. No and I want to add a note about this is more about Sunil Chetri the guy Sunil Chetri during the pandemic used to give his Instagram account details to non-profit organizations to log in and uh, share SOS stories as in from his account wow. and he facilitated people getting oxygen and like emergency medical help he is just the immaculate like he's the definition of the ideal indian like what we should be aspiring to be Sunil Chetri is that guy man absolutely do do you remember his his plea to the football fans to, for to come out and show dude, support oh my god i felt like and crying watching that dude he, he, he is just an amazing guy man and and the reality is the the goals the trophies and all that is okay at the end of your career you're going to look back and think what is your legacy and i think sunil chetri can look back and see like his legacy is he's definitely moved indian football on his own by two three notches and I, no one can not many people can say that they've moved a whole sport in their country one or two notches Dude, like how many ab- people absolutely. sachin tendulkar maybe kapil dev maybe but in football by chungbutia and sunil chetri we don't have anyone else absolutely and, absolutely and and not just that i mean a lot of uh, once that he uh, posted about his retirement and everybody knew he's retiring there were so many posts about yeah. where he stands in the international goal rankings yeah and to that's nuts so uh for any of you international football enthusiasts i'm not one of them unfortunately but international football enthusiasts you all know it's our main man cristiano ronaldo leading the charge with 128 goals okay this man's a freak and then in second place it's this guy called ali dai who had 109 i think messi is on 107 or 108 number 4 is our own sunil chetri and how how proud do you feel saying that an indian guy is amongst these names like ronaldo and messi to have your name alongside like no my people can talk about a okay, standard of opposition and all that but uh, it uh, you you're playing recognized professionals man and to stand out over 20 years what an achievement man Dude, what an achievement yeah, absolutely man what a, what a marvelous player and what a marvelous and, man first well, uh, that's the thing like it's it's really good to be it's really obviously important to be a good player but it's even more important to be a good human being and i think this guy has shown us the way by the way that's not his only record he's he is also the highest uh, goal scorer in isl history he is the oh. highest goal scorer in indian national history he's also scored like i said the only hat trick as, as an indian player in an indian major in a major final so he's been racking up these records man and it's just it's just incredible he's also had the most number of caps for the indian national team so yeah. i mean It's and, just and, amazing. And even at this age, dude. Even at this age, he's not a young guy. Uh, Sunil Chetri. Thirty-nine, man. Thirty-nine years old, and thirty-nine in football levels. terms. Thirty-nine yeah. in football terms is ancient. Very true. Very true. For any any middle-aged man watching this and thinking, oh, thirty-nine. I mean, I'm forty-five and I'm hustling and bringing in the bacon, or bringing in the dough. Uh, it's different. <laughs> But you know, <laughs> it's you good. Know, like this, this makes me wonder. I mean, don't you think Indians get? should get more recognition on a global stage when it comes to football like perhaps if we if there was something that would allow our players to go out and play in the better leagues i'm it's, not saying that I, i mean actually i am saying that isl is not of that stature of that level yet but i'm yeah. sure if our players get to go and play there they'll get even better and we'll see yeah. more sunil chetris coming up in the future soon i mean leave let alone seeing more sunil chetris we could have seen sunil chetri himself and i think um while we talk about yeah his career really took off post 2005 sunil chetri being sunil chetri in 2008 2009 season realized he wanted more he huh. realized he was not satisfied with where he was at which is crazy cuz he was at the pinnacle of indian football but he decided to try and take his talents elsewhere to europe and he had some misfortune like in 2009 he went on trial with coventry in england and chris coleman was the coach the head coach at the time and uh he put sunil and the new recruits the tr- on trial recruits through some drills mm-hmm. and sunil chetri uh, did this finishing drill 
and i think in the finishing drill he got like 28 or tw- or 29 out of 30 shots into the target where they wanted and he was feeling himself he was like i'm getting this i'm definitely getting this yeah. job i've nailed it okay and he goes into chris coleman's office and chris coleman has this deadpan look on his face again this is what in sunil chatri's description has a deadpan look on his face and he's like yeah your shooting was okay but your game iq is bad and pace is just not there at all and they didn't sign him and for, i think for sunil chatri that was the first time that someone has basically to his face just drop bombs Ouch, on his head dude that's horrible you know was this chris coleman at liverpool when they signed darwin nunes because he's the exact <laughs> opposite of <laughs> sunil chatri horrible shooting but pace is there bro pace but pace, game iq yeah. okay i that's what i've been telling you dow okay. is he's no, got that, that just, he's got that just, iq on lock kid <laughs> <laughs> Chris Coleman knows what he oh, no okay he doesn't know what he's yeah. talking about <laughs> but so that was his first like i think major setback on the international scene so we could have seen him in Coventry in another world but where it really got sad is the story about him and Q- Queens Park Rangers in London mm-hmm. and um, for all of you who don't know Queens Park Rangers were the club that gifted Man City the title in 2012 yeah. they started all our problems okay they started all our problems but i won't lie I was celebrating so much <laughs> when that Aguero goal went in. Oh, Look it man. up for anyone who doesn't pseudo know. Fan, just fan. just google Aguero 32 or just type Aguero followed by 800 Os into <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> That's all you need to do, okay? So I mean, Queens Park Rangers was uh, the team that offered him a contract. They offered him a contract. This wasn't a trial. They offered him a fixed deal and oh, he accepted it. Wow. He accepted it. Right. But his <laughs> visa got rejected. Dude, that's that's horrible. How 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 does an Indian uh, sports person of such caliber and of, of such uh, uh, what's it called? Like like every everybody knows Sunil yeah. Chetri, so, right? How how could he not pull some strings? So it's it's like really weird regulations when it comes to visas. I think for like European and English uh, leagues, they said that you have to play seventy five percent of your national team's games, and that Sunil Chetri had covered obviously. Right. but they also needed you to be part of a top 70 country in the fifa rankings and What that's an just absurd a rude, joke bro. that is a fucking joke man like that 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 is just ridiculous and you basically robbed a person of their earned they earned the right to be there and you stole it from him and he still feels bad about it but again you got to look at the man he says it to this day i felt bad but it's not in my control it's not in my hands so i'm not going to dwell on it and that's that mentality man that uh, mentality is just off the charts too that's and crazy bro I, I, it's i, I don't know i would be so devastated man i i probably dude. would have considered just like hanging it all up man dude every indian footballer or even just a football fan right who's who's yeah, played yeah. at school level like like us like yeah. even for us we've always dreamt of you know like playing at that level or, or not me man had... i knew <laughs> <laughs> i knew <laughs> I knew, I knew very early. <laughs> we all knew, we all. Knew. Yeah, yeah, that's. <laughs> we could dream, right? And and yeah. just seeing our best player for yeah. a few good years uh, yeah. getting rejected like that just just makes me feel sad, dude. And, it's, it's, and it's, imagine it's, he got through, dude. Imagine he got through, and he if he would have been lining up against oh a Man God. United, dude, I wouldn't uh, know who to support, dude. I I really yeah. wouldn't know. Uh, yeah, let's 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 not act. Okay, let's not act. <laughs> you 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 would have. <laughs> It's true that <laughs> I'm I'm a true fan. You yeah. you're a pseudo fan, but you're a true hater. I'm a true <laughs> fan. Dude. I don't hate as much as I support. See, uh, true haters are a dying breed. Okay, and if you're watching this, okay, don't let society shame you. Okay, I turn into United fans. I turn into United matches more than I turn into Liverpool matches, and I think that pisses off Hamza. But it gives me entertainment. And when you have a team that loses 13 times in the Premier League. <laughs> I am having fun okay so yeah so the thing is that was not his last chance actually man crazy enough he got a chance against uh, to play for Kansas City uh, the Kansas City Wizards back in uh, the states oh. and he took it and he went on trial there but for some reason it didn't work out but the high point you know what the high point was and i think this is very relevant to you he played against manchester united there's actually a picture of him jostling with the ball with jo- your still employed <laughs> center back johnny oh, Ev- <laughs> johnny evans johnny evans should should take some uh, uh, 
uh, you should take a cue from this guy from Sunil Chetri bro <laughs> you need to retire brother no, <laughs> you need to retire Johnny Evans is just he, Johnny Evans and Phil Jones man <laughs> just but just Phil is Phil Jones still a party in United no 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 he's not he's, he's not done, he's no, no. like they just part like it like I'm just I'm just assuming you enter the training ground and there's just a Johnny Evans <laughs> sitting over there just <laughs> the part of the furniture bro <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so he's played against United, but the Kansas City stint didn't work out. But Sunil Chetri never gives up, and he got another stint in Europe. Can you guess where? Ah, uh, uh, was this the rumors where there were uh, some team in Portugal? Was it not? It was not rumors. It was true. He did get a contract, and he got a contract at a club that has given us what many people think the greatest player of all time, Cristiano Ronaldo, Sporting Club oh, Lisbon. Oh wow. So he played for Lisbon and I think that was he credits that for being like the final step in his career which really r- rounded him as a player mm-hmm. and he played for Sporting Club de Lisbon but he played for their B team because the coach said that you're not good enough yet and you have to develop certain things and he was 27 years old old at that time so he was playing with the B team and it was 17 18 18 year old kids and he was like these guys are on a freaking different level man like it was like he says you realize the levels but he could live with it because he said i was giving my best and i was learning i was becoming a better player but i wasn't starting and i was okay with it because i knew that the person starting in front of me was a better player than me so like for him he didn't sulk he didn't down his tools or something a lot something which you united fans will be very familiar with <laughs> yeah, nah, bro. See, at the end of the day i think it's okay uh, firangis don't know an indian's worth anyway yeah, but yeah, I, i'm just it. i'm just glad we're here celebrating this man at yeah, least man. with the kind of uh, support that he's been garnering yeah. uh, throughout uh, social media and even yeah. even even with the fans who turned up to watch his last game against Kuwait it was, yeah. it was wonderful it's just incredible man and i think sandesh jingan always said it best i, I think i saw this on his uh, video with ranveer alabadia the uh, beer bicep show and he mentioned about how i think sunil chetri's lasting legacy will be one that he's taken indian sports up a notch or two he mm-hmm. brought a level of fitness that was like unheard of in indian circles because even at 39 he was like outdoing players much younger than him at the regular drills and he wouldn't be the first delhi born bangalore sporting based man to come in and or radically alter <laughs> the physical standards in his sports you know who i'm talking about yes. king kohli <laughs> so, so i mean and, and surprisingly they not unsurprisingly they're very close sunil yeah. chetri and virat kohli are very very close because same delhi boys based out of bangalore for their sporting clubs and they both are absolute living legends man and i think both of them like i'm i'm going to be devastated when when virat kohli re- retires yeah, i'm on third watch yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i better check on him when he puts out that retire <laughs> i'm finished man like literally yeah. i'm finished it will surely be a sad day you know but, but this gets me thinking just before we wrap, wrap things up in every sport and in every field there's always one pioneer one person yeah. who paves the path for everybody else yeah, faces yeah. a lot of uh backlash from fans or maybe opposition fans yeah or a lot yeah. of setbacks from coaches like your what's his name the darwin nunes guy <laughs> chris coleman man yeah, chris, chris coleman. coleman so from all of these guys and they still persevere and they yeah. reach a certain stage so for anybody who thinks that sunil chetri was not the pinnacle and if you think ronaldo and messi were the pinnacle you need to look at this man as the pioneer Context. of indian football yeah, yeah. and he did, and you need to understand what sunil chetri has done will lead to more sunil chetris in the future you will see yeah. not one not two maybe uh, hundreds and thousands of them exactly. turn up in and, the coming years and everyone needs to remember before ronaldo there was eusebio and like before eusebio there was someone else and we're in that process and sunil Absolutely. chetri and i'm sure 40 years from now there's going to be some chutia indian kid who's going to be like ah sunil chetri he plays now <laughs> what the way we do the way we do. <laughs> the way we talk about like all the players from the 70s and 80s plumbers <laughs> so but no respect the history of the game man respect the history of the game and respect what sunil chetri has done for our game he single handedly okay you should never say single handedly in a team sport but he has played a huge role in uplifting indian sport and indian football and hopefully this is like just it just expands like hamza said we have hundreds of chetris now so that's that's here's hoping man here's hoping absolutely absolutely and and if you guys like some like this video and if you want something more like this please guys yeah. give us a like do comment yeah. and yeah. subscribe as well please that that would be great man that would be great and if you don't uh... <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so anyway, it, thank it, you so it, much for it tuning in. It is a threat. It is a threat. Yeah, you it's, know, it's, we keep it's a threat. Content and like, yeah, oh, it oh. is a threat. <laughs> <laughs> All 264 of you, we have you. <laughs> okay, no, sorry, 284 yes. to be honest. <laughs> okay, anyway, on that note, thank you so much for tuning in. Please come back again. <laughs> See you guys. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye.